Daniel Novera. Mishuri Chittakai Yuti Niyori. Sutokur Murun Tokyo and the European Kit. Surukoto Sentaku Yimika. Sutokur Murun no Tokyo. What is up my Nakamo? My name is Daniel and I'm a current second year medical student and in this video I'm going to take you through a day of our current block which is MSK. So actually a couple days ago I finished my renal unit and renal was pretty interesting. Um, it was kind of difficult like some of the physiology aspects like the kidney does so much in terms of like electrolyte balance and hormone regulation and blood pressure regulation. It's just so complex but I think it was a good unit to kind of tie in everything that we've learned together because in medicine, at the end of the day, all of the organ systems are interrelated. So you kind of have to know all of them to be a good physician. Um, but yeah, so our current unit is MSK, the musculoskeletal system, um, or otherwise like rheumatology, I think is another name for the block. Yesterday was actually the first day. Today is our second day of MSK. And the block is actually only a week long before our exam. So usually our blocks are like three weeks, but I guess MSK is like a pretty quick block. I mean, all you have to know is just a few bones and then you're done probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to head to school now. And I usually study at the hospital or at the school between 8 to 12, so for four hours. Um, and that's kind of like my really dedicated like Anki UWorld practice questions. Um, by the way, if you didn't know, um, I actually registered for my step one exam date, which is going to be February 1st. Um, so yeah, it's official, you know, February 1st, that's my actual step one exam date. I'm kind of balancing like lecture material and preparing for this board examination. And at sometimes it's difficult because you constantly have to be learning new material, but at the same time, you want to be testing yourself on old material. So it's just all about having a balance. I mean, one of the ways is by not attending lecture <laughs> um, because it's like 8.30 right now and lecture probably started at eight, but I 2X lecture anyways, so I'll just blaze through it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, today is going to be a fun day, hopefully. Let's go. Okay, so today was a pretty long day of studying, uh, basically from eight to five with a pretty nice lunch break though in between. Um, I went to right over there, that building, um, it's called Plant 64, it's right next to our school. And uh, one of my best friends lives there. And so we grilled up some chicken for lunch 
which was delicious and I had it with some kimchi too. Mm -mm -mm. So tasty. But then uh, I continued my studies afterwards and basically what I did in the latter half of the day was review some more of the Boards and Beyond lectures uh, for the MSK block. And I reviewed some of the anatomy of MSK. So there's a lot of muscles like in your forearms in your arms and in your wrists and a lot of bones that you have to know. And it's been like a year since I've reviewed MSK anatomy. So I kind of tried really hard to brush up and know all the bones and like uh, what certain fractures, what kind of deficits they lead to. Uh, because clinically it can be really important to identify, like for example, if someone has like ulnar or radial deviation, um, you should know kind of what nerve that means um, that's been injured. Um, and it should be pretty easy to tell too, because there's a lot of sort of signs and physical exam maneuvers you can do in order to like elicit pain or um, make sure that you kind of identify and localize where the injury was. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty good day of studying overall. Um, I also took some UWorld practice tests and I got an 80%, which is good. Um, I'm hoping to reach like maybe 90% on my practice tests. Um, UWorld, by the way, is like a step one question bank which is made available to us. And I try and do at least 20 to 40 practice questions a day currently. Um, but during Dedicated, which is gonna start in two months, I'm gonna amp that up to like two whole UWorld blocks per day. So yeah, now that I've uh, finished up my studies for the day, I'm gonna go back home, uh, do a quick workout because this week is my deload week. So I only do like half the numbers of reps and sets, um, but I still try and you know execute them with good form and stuff. Um, currently I'm trying to learn a handstand push up and clean up my muscle ups, but my workout is gonna be mostly inside today. But I have some interesting costumes that you guys are gonna see that my wife made, um, and I'll show you guys that a little bit later in this video. Okay, so I'll see you then. Okay, so this is actually the next day because I forgot to film for the rest of the day because I was doing something important. I was playing a game called Valorant until 3 a.m. with some of my med school friends. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes you have those days you just get lost in the games and then it's 3 a.m. <laughs> oh, I have my little succulent here. I bought this at Ikea a few weeks ago and um, I'm trying to nurture it and then it will become a part of my desk. Um, I'm treating this like my own child, so I've neglected it a little bit because I haven't been watering it, um, so I have to remember to do that. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was just, you know, a fun day in med school. Uh, today is actually Halloween, but you know, we're being safe and you know, we're not going to any bars, we're not going to any parties, uh, because remember COVID-19 is still real and it's on the rise in the United States. So you know, just have a head on your shoulders and uh, be safe out there and wear masks and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay strong, stay healthy, and as always, Dr. Bayo.